everybody, this is Beth McCullough. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Des Moines, Iowa in the United States. And my sweet husband, Steve, and I... Hi, everybody! <laughs> ...are here every Wednesday at noon central time. And today I have a darling, easy gift card holder to show you. So it you can make it just as a card if you want. And you can open it up, and there's a place for a gift card right here. Who doesn't want an Amazon gift card, right? It's very useful. Yeah. So, we had quite a weekend, didn't we? We did. Do we want to talk about our little faux pas here when we first got started today? <laughs> so, we were in St. Louis over the weekend, and I took the stand with me because... Um, I had to do a video for a stamp camp on Saturday, and so as I was trying to get the video started, um, Steve was trying to get it to be steady so he wouldn't have to hold it, yeah. So anyway, that was what the first 10 second video of watch out for my phone was. And I think we're live! <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. So I use this all squared away set. This actually is becoming one of my favorite sets, which is funny because I didn't even look at it, really, when the annual catalog came out. I made this last week. Super fun with the polka dots and the tulips. And then today I made this. I let Steve pick out some different colors, so you'll have to let us know which you like better. But one of the great things about it, I've made a lot with this die with the tulips. And Steve wanted to use this one with the flower. So you cut it out, like on this card, you cut it out in black, and then you cut it out again in pink, and you just put it on there. Ah, that's a brilliant idea. Yeah, and they have it for all the different, um, all the different flowers. So it's a super fun set. And I haven't even used these stamps. These would be cool too. So I am going to show you how to do this. Like always, I have a template. I would recommend you guys make a template too. So, and I should put all the, what are we going to call this? Easy gift card holder. That e makes it appealing. Easy gift card holder. And the card stock measures four and a quarter by 11 inches. So I went ahead and got that. This is Magenta Madness, really pretty bright pink. And then you're gonna take it and score it. Let's go this way. You're gonna score it at two and a half, two and a half inches and five and a half inches. Okay, and then use your bone folder And you're just gonna burnish the score lines. Am I up high enough that you can see me there? Actually, being up higher is a, an advantage because you don't have to worry so much about being in scene. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Okay, so after you have your cardstock, and again, you scored it at, I wanna make sure it's right, two and a half and five and a half. Then you pick out the designer series paper. And this paper punch party pack, it's a hostess paper that you get free with your host rewards. It's really cute paper. And then look at all this black and white. So Steve chose from all the black and white for what he wanted. And this is the one he picked. Isn't that cute? So, we're gonna make the inside of it first. The folding part is where the gift card is gonna go. And he also picked this piece of designer series paper. He thought he should use more than one. Well, I wanted people to see it different to draw their attention to the gift card. Right. So this is just the black with the white polka dots and it measures two and a quarter by four. And... We're running out of glue. Should we forget about wiggle room and do the seal today? 
Ooh, that means you're going to have to be precise. I know. No pressure. So should we talk about the rest of St. Louis, or do you think people are Well, we forgot sick our glue in our... St. Louis, too. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't forget the glue. There's lots of glue sitting here. I just would need to get it started. We didn't take glue with us to St. Louis. And so that... Or dimensionals. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It's hard when you're traveling. I mean, let's Look just be honest. Look at all the things we did take. We did take a lot of things. We took lots of I, things. I helped carry them in to the hotel so I can attest. We took lots of things, but just not everything. <laughs> so this is two and a quarter by four. And then use whatever size circle punch you have. And you're just making a notch so it's easier to get at the gift card. Okay. And then tear and tape. You want this to be super strong. So I would put tear and tape and put it on the part you're folding up, then you know where to stop and put it on both sides. So what was your favorite part of our weekend in St. Louis? Well, I'll get to that as soon as I say hi to Carol in Connecticut. Hi, Carol. And Kay in North Carolina and Leone in the Netherlands and lots of other people. We've got Bev and Linda and Linda and Teresa and Kay. Lots of people watching today, so thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you everyone for coming. By the way, Bev, when I ask which gift card you like better, I am prepared. I know you'll like Steve's better, and, that, and I'm okay with that. Okay, so I put tear and tape on the top and the bottom, notched the hole. So honestly, it's not fair that you go first, and then I suggest improvements that I think might make it better when I've got your first one to look at. That's not well, fair. It's like mine is the warm-up card. So here's the Amazon gift card. And it's going to move over to Steve's side. I just got a gift card. <laughs> you did. Unless you're going to give it to somebody. And I didn't ask you, do you want happiest of birthdays to you to go in the center? The happiest of birthdays, the reason I picked that is it's in the all squared away. And it's cute. And then these flowers. Do they get black dots? Do you want black dots, yes, honey? Definitely. <laughs> so these three little flowers, I just ran it through the stamp and cut in emboss machine once to get those. And then I put these down with a glue dot. Okay. And now Steve wants some black dots. The black dots are matte black dots, and I'm going to use the little ones and just pick them up and put them on the centers. It does make the gift card um, higher, but when you shut it, the gift card and everything is over that, so I think it'd still be okay to mail as long as it doesn't get too thick. Oh, it looks like it. So and Mary Ellen, you know, is from Montana, but she's in California visiting her daughter today. Oh, that's fun. I bet you're having a great time. And Lena's on from Canada, too. Thank you, everybody. You should tell us what you're up to today. Steve and I, so far, he went to Bible study this morning. And we went for a walk. Look at this. This is too big. Carol, I forgot to say hi to you earlier. I apologize. Okay, so this is supposed to measure four inches. And it's a little wide, so I'm going to cut some of it off. So my favorite part of St. Louis was watching my wife mm -hmm. be in true joy and being so excited. I mean, she literally could not stay still as we were going to this event. And it, it was the culmination of uh, a long road for these gymnasts. And, and a long series of combination or competitions to see who was going to make the team. So there was a lot of anticipation uh, about the meet, and Beth was fired up for it. And that was the best part, was seeing you be fired up. Well, and I made that card for Simone, and I wanted to give it to her. We practiced saying the coaches' names because they're French, so I thought maybe I could yell out to them. But I was trying, how do I not be a stalker but get Simone the card? And I feel like it's actually kind of a God thing. It rained a lot in St. Louis this weekend, and we forgot our umbrella upstairs. 
So we got downstairs, it started raining, and Steve said, why don't you run up and get the umbrella and I'll go save our place in line. For big gymnastic events, especially the women, you have to stand in line to get in. So I was coming down on the elevator holding Simone's card and a mom and a little girl from Seattle were in the elevator and the little girl said, what, what is that? So I showed her the card and said, I really wanna give this to Simone, but I don't know how. And the, the mom said, guess what? My friend has been here all, all week, and so have we, because there's four competitions. And Simone's mom is sitting in section 127. And maybe you should give it to her, because then that wouldn't scare Simone, you wouldn't be breaking any rules. It was genius. So I, I do feel like it was a God thing that I just forgot my umbrella and met this lady, and so anyway. And we went over to section 127, and there was Simone's mom, and she was darling, so sweet. Okay, so all of these are four inches across. This top section is two and a quarter by four. The basic white layer is two and three fourths by four. And the bottom one is two and a quarter by four. So two and a quarter, two and a quarter, two and three fourths. And we have the center done, and that was really easy. And we fold this up and we're gonna put another piece here. And this is actually two and three fourths. Yeah, so I wrote down the wrong thing here. I'll get it right though, I promise. Two and three fourths by four. I will not lead you astray. So we're gonna put Steve's preferred paper here. What do you guys think of that? Do you like Steve's um, diamond paper? It's more tiger stripe like. Oh, is that what you think? Well, yeah, but I, I don't know if that's good or bad. It makes it a little bit busier. Yeah, it'll look good though with the solid flower. So that's all there is to it. You can decorate this any way you want. Now let me show you how I put the front square layer together. I started with a square of magenta madness, and that was three inches by three inches, and I wrote on it, but I'm gonna put the black right over the top. The basic black layer is two and three fourths by two and three fourths. So yeah, our gymnastic season is over. They're going to Tokyo, and they're not allowing um, spectators to come. Wait, wait, wait. Are you suggesting that if they did allow spectators to we, go to Tokyo? Well, we've never been to the Olympics, so no, I guess, I guess I shouldn't imply that. Never say never, honey. It would be fun to go to the Olympics someday. Okay, so now the basic white square is two and a quarter by two and a quarter. I left some room. Sometimes it's more interesting to have the borders be different sizes. And then I ran the die through with black, and I'm just gonna apply this to the center. Hopefully one of these glues wants to work for me. I'm gonna, oh yeah, this one's gonna work. And these leaves are bigger. So what is everybody up to today? Another thing I did this morning is, while well, Steve was gone, I went out and watered. And I picked, did you see the handful of raspberries I picked, Oh, Steve? I didn't see the raspberries. I saw your lettuce for salads for dinner. Yes. The, oh, the lettuce is so good. I had it yesterday. But the raspberries, I normally eat them in the garden because I am Henny Penny. And that means she doesn't want to share because she did all the work. <laughs> there is that. But there were so many raspberries today that I thought maybe I could share. Or maybe you wanna be nice and just let me have them all. Okay, so when you go to put this flower on, I ran the individual flower through in pink. This doesn't just fit anywhere. You have to figure out which way. Cause like if you have it like this, it doesn't fit on there just right. But there is a way where it's just right. And I put the bigger black matte dot on this. And I am just gonna put a couple glue dots on here so that I don't have to use glue, but you could use glue at home. So 
the folks that watch this thing are pretty productive people, I have to say. Um, we have one person who's already been to the chiropractor and got a pedicure. Wow. Uh, did the, is, did the chiropractor hurt? I know the pedicure was probably awesome. Uh, no feedback yet on whether there was any pain involved with the chiropractor. Um, it's not supposed to hurt. Um, then uh, we've also got um, someone who's done Bible study, made a card, and is now watching you. So that sounds like a wonderful morning. And we've got another person who says they need to clean up their stamp office, stamp room. You know, my stamping office or room gets messy almost every day, but I also clean it up almost every day because I have trouble creating anything if it's a mess. I can't find anything, then it's more frustrating than fun. So a lot of crafters are messy, and I would recommend that if you clean it up, even though it'll get messy again. How messy does mine get? You know, we were strategic in building Beth's stamping studio because it is right in the middle of the house between rooms. So people walk through here all the time and I know she's so conscious enough that she's not gonna let people walk through um, messy rooms. And have it trashed. Right. You did that on purpose? Yes. You're just telling me this now. Well, it just worked out that way, but I wasn't going to rearrange things. It suddenly hit me that it was a good idea. And by the way, this was not my first. I started stamping on a card table up in our bedroom. I moved down to his office and had a table, got kicked out of the office, went to the dining room. Then we could never have people over because I was messier then. I didn't have a way to organize my card straps, scraps. And then he wanted the office with the door. And so that's when he promised me this. What do you guys think? I, I think that's cute. Now, when you go to put the glue on, make sure you're only putting it on the bottom because this part is not gonna be glued down to anything. And of course, I want to have about the same border all the way around. So I'm gonna put my finger here. I want the glue right here. Carol said to tell you that her chiropractic appointment didn't hurt at all. And it sounds like she has the same issue that you have. And she said her chiropractor is really, really helping her. Well, Carol, I was going to the chiropractor twice a week when I got shingles in April. And when I got adjusted while I had shingles, it hurt so bad that I quit going to the chiropractor. And I thought I would start back after our trip to Texas. And then I thought I'd start back after we went to St. Louis for the weekend. <laughs> she's putting it off is what I'm she's saying. I'm scared, I'm scared to go back. Okay, so this just hangs out here. We have our gift card. What do you guys think? Do you like this? So one of the comments is, we had one person say they like this flower better than this flower. And, you know, I'm a traditionalist, so I probably think the same thing. Do you? Because this one looks more like a, a real flower, whereas this one is more abstract. See, um, I've, I've been liking that flower. Oh, I, I kept You've using made it. several of those. Well, I'm glad that we decided to make this flower. What about the backgrounds? Um, Bev, I know you like Steve's better. Hey, give her a chance. <laughs> what does everyone else think? And do you like the little flowers inside? I think that's a nice touch. I do definitely think that. Otherwise, there'd be too much white space. Although... And, and I would just write the note on here, too. I like this better on the inside. If I had to do over again, I would keep this outside the same, but then I would put these two on the inside and have the inside just be different patterns. You would, what would you do on the inside? I would take these two panels and put them right here. Oh, Okay. Because I'm saying the, well, I guess you couldn't do that though, because then this panel shows on the outside, doesn't it? Right. Right. Yeah. See on this one, I accidentally folded it when I was making it. Don't do that. This part doesn't need folded at all. Where, where you did the two and a half, that folds up to be the gift card. So pretty fun. So let me tell you what I'm working on for the rest of the day. Stampin' Up! has a designer series paper sale that starts tomorrow. I'm doing shares for that. 
and I'm also doing holiday catalog shares. In July, it's for demos only. Starting August 3rd, it's for everyone. And I am so close to earning the incentive trip for the first time ever. I've been a demo for almost 20 years and never earned the trip. And I wanna take Steve on the Western Caribbean trip because he could go scuba diving three, three times. times. In three ports I could go scuba okay, diving. Okay, so can you tell Steve wants to go? I am now ready to sell, sell, sell. So I, I need to sell about $3,300 worth of Stampin' Up! for the next three months to go on the trip. So one way I can do that is by doing the shares. So even if you're a demo, if you would like a paper share, the paper of the DSP sale is 10% off. I'm actually, or 15% off. I'm actually giving you my discount too. So it's 40% off. And the shares will be the, the I'm giving away the 25%. So the rock bottom prices to sell as much as I can to get Steve on his scuba diving okay, trip. Okay, Bridget wants to know, where's the information about this? It is coming out. I am so close to having it done. So That's today's project? Today's project. I will get it done. And I would really appreciate it if you would consider purchasing a share from me and telling a friend because they're not going to find it cheaper anywhere else. Do you have anything else for us, hon? I just want to say thank you for everybody for watching today. We had uh, great participation. Okay. Well, I hope you all have a blessed week. And we're actually going to be gone next week. So put in the comment where you think we're going to do our Facebook Live from next Wednesday. Okay. No, no, Here, here's no hints. Are you giving? Well, here is a clue. We just went to two gymnastics meets that Beth really, really loved. And now we're going to do something that I like. Something Steve wants to do. What do you think it is? Put, um, put your guess in the comment, and I will send one of these cards. I imagine you might want Steve's card to the person no, no, no. who. No, I have to tell you, I think your card was the winner today from was the comments. It? Yes. Well, that is shocking. But put in the comments where you think we'll be next week doing our Facebook Live. And again, please come back next Wednesday at noon and have a blessed week. Bye, everybody. Bye.